That's the battle we had all anticipated. It's Group 1 Racing Royalty. It's La Blonde on the inside on Trivier. In third, Mascarpone. La Blonde's in front. La Blonde wins the BCD Group Sprint. Just a touch too tough. La Blonde. Great ride, Ryan Elliott. Well done to the connections. And she's done it. La Blonde gets her second Group 1. Oh, it's been unbelievable thrill for uh, my partners and myself. It's uh, you know it's basically dreamlike stuff. When Levante came along, I bought her cheaply. Oh, she was reared and born on the farm, and uh, my wife said to me, "What did you buy another filly for? We've got a paddock full of them." So, uh, and now she's glad I did. It was when we had our first trial. You know, she got back and flashed home for third, and I thought, "Gee, we're going to win some races." Then she had her next trial, and after that, I thought we've really got something here. And then her track work. You know, when she galloped, she was just superb, and uh, not realising, you know, that we were going to be winning multiple Group One races. And she's shooting for another Group One. Lark Creek tries really hard, but Lavonde to the line. She certainly gave us some scary moments when she was getting back and thought, you know, she can't get up, but, you know, a lot of the time she did get up. Here comes Lavonde with 100 metres to go from last on the corner. She's bounded to the lead. Oh, she's back in winning form today, Lavonde. Brilliant. Without her, we wouldn't have bought Legato, so uh, she, she was the catalyst of my love affair with Prasur. I'm an unashamed, huge fan of the horse. I think he's a terrific sire, and he's, he's going to carry on too. There's no question about that. When I looked at her, I just thought Levante. You know, that was the only thing I'd put in my catalogue, you know. I didn't write any other notes about it. And I can remember when she had her first gallop on the grass, Ken and I were watching, and she just flattened and lowered exactly like Levante does. And, uh, and Ken and I just looked at one another and it was a surreal moment because we just neither of us said anything but I know what we were both thinking. And Ken said to me, can lightning strike twice? And I said, well, let's wait and see. And sure enough, it has. Stride for stride, attrition just in front. The Philly Legato is driving at them and got up. The Philly, the Kiwi, Legato. Legato is the winner. Number 15 has won the Australian Guineas. Look, it was an unbelievable run, like she got into a pocket and uh, I thought she wasn't ever going to get out. It seemed like she was there forever, but uh, to her credit, uh, I thought she might run fourth if she was lucky, and, but to her credit, and Mickey said all, you know, he said she just had a huge turn of foot and um, he said it was unbelievable what the feel that he got from her. We bred El Segundo, he won a Cox Plate, I wouldn't mind a Cox Plate, but uh, a championship stake over the, which was the old McKinnon at 2,000 metres. I think Flemington is the track that really suits her because you know, it just gives her that scope of such a roomy big track that she can get clear air there and, and do her thing.